What's up, Drill Season TV family? This your boy, Drilly, back with a Drill Season TV update. I got a question. Why aren't we talking about Lil Dirk as a label exec? Like, he has his own label and he's making stars. I think this is something that kind of gets swept under the rug when we speak about Lil Dirk. Yeah, we know his albums be popping. We know he's dropping them back to back. He got hits, he got singles, but... What about the stars that he's making? He has a crazy lineup and a crazy roster of young men that he's plucking out of Chicago neighborhoods. And he's basically giving these guys careers. Uh, they're able to go do shows on their own without him. And I like the fact that he's not uh, hes not stingy with his verses. You know what I mean? Like, he'll give them a verse and let these guys go fly with those things. You know what I mean? These guys are able to get on the road and book shows and get paid and actually have career. So why aren't we talking about that? Uh, OTF is a Chicago-based record label, right? Like, it is still, I mean, I know he's in Atlanta right now, but these are Chicago artists. So I think that needs to be talked about, man. There's a record label that was homegrown from Chicago that got stars. So why aren't we talking about Lil Durk as the label is that? In the same way we talk about, like, Yo Gotti with his roster, or even, like, Young Thug with his roster. I think Lil Durk has comparable roster, man, and these guys is dropping songs back-to-back. -back. Every month we got new releases, and no one's really speaking on that aspect of Lil Durk, right? Y'all can get into his legal situations. Y'all can even get into his love life with his baby mamas and all that, and his beefs and all that shit. But no one's really talking about how dope of a label is that and a label owner that he is. Uh, so let me know what y'all favorite OTF joint is by an OTF member that is not Lil Dirt and is not King Rock.